Hello everyone, I am Bhavin and I am back with a new video. So in this video, I am going to attempt a challenge which is posted by our ma'am, which is told to do by our ma'am, teacher. Okay, so let me just show you the challenge. So this is the first challenge I didn't split. Okay. So this is the first challenge, okay. Um, I don't know, I think I didn't create. Yeah, so this is a challenge. I think I have already kept it open. Okay, so this is what we need to do. So we need to choose at least three to four tasks and we need to complete it in 45 minutes. Okay, so these are the tasks. Okay, these are the questions. Okay. So we'll start with the first question. Let me share my Python screen with you all. So yeah, let me just read out the, let me just keep it in mind the question. So I need to take an input from the user until unless he gives a input of an n so yeah let me share my python screen with you all yeah one second let me share you all the screen okay let me click okay so yeah so let's do it um i have created a new f folder for that one so yeah let me just create a new file uh let's put his name as um yeah task one and then let's start it so first we'll start with declaring a few variables called product okay is equals to zero sum equals to zero and count equals to zero so product because we need to print the product sum because sum and count because we need to know the average okay so we'll do it by true okay sorry true Okay, while true, it is going to ask an input of number. Let's say it is number for now. Goes to I N P U T, and then we going to put it as P N T R. Sorry, my W key is broken, so I'm using Mickey Mickey for that. Now enter. Number or n to exit. Okay. So yeah, let me just give a colon here. So yeah, so now it is going to take the input. Now let us check if it is n or n. Yeah. If number equals to equals to n or number okay so I can space between these number equals to equals to caps lock n so yeah we are just taking the various caps so small if the user and the enter in small letters it is going to give him an error so yeah we want to ignore that one so yeah it is going to break so it is going to exit it is going to exit this loop okay else it is going to convert it into the integers okay number equals to i n t and n e m b e r we are going to give an else condition here Yeah, so he needs to enter an integer. Okay. Yeah, let me just remove this. I don't think we need it. Okay, so we have done it. So now we are going to give the calculations here. We have done it and now product. No, let's give else. Okay, 
so yeah let's come into this product into equals to and you have b e r so yeah product yes okay next we are going to do okay let's give average also average for now we we'll give it as zero count plus count plus equals to one and then sum plus equals to number okay so we have found the count and everything so yeah let's come out of the loop now because until unless we press the send it is going to take the input converting it into number if it doesn't input a number, it is going to show him an error and stop the program. He needs to rerun it. Yep. So now let us print. Print average and then let's put average. Okay. So before that, we need to do a step. Okay. Average is equals to sum by count so yeah this is a step to get the average so we need to mention it and it will going to print the okay and now we are going to do it print okay Let's see product and then we are going to put a comma and then put product okay let me just give a space between all of this so we get a gap so yeah let's test it out if this shows an error we need to do it again okay yeah one two three four five six seven eight ten and n the product will be zero and average is 4.5 okay it is working okay so let us go with the second one let me just show you all that screen too Couple dog spray. okay yep so let's let me scroll down give me a moment okay you modify for the next video okay okay so we need to segregate even numbers and odd numbers okay so we, we we might take it as a list okay okay let's start let's do this one this is one else is very easy let me share you the python one second i need to open that in okay i am now you will be able to see so let's start let me put click this new and then uh python 5 yes task okay sorry let's do task 2 okay let me just click on the task the task was to just put it out the task was to create an odd and even number of series taken from the user okay so let's make a list numbers equals to yeah round brackets okay why true i'm sorry caps t r u v true it needs to take an input call let's say x equals to in t no oh, it is gonna be the same thing we need to take an input but we are going to append it into the numbers okay 
let's take this one now x equals to y in p u t and here now r n to get result okay let me just do this here also exit it's not exit it is to, to get result okay let's go here back again okay to get result hmm. okay yeah i'm sorry odd count and equals to zero and even count equals to zero so this is because we need to print the count of numbers right so yeah if x equals to equals to hash n or or sorry, or x equals to equals to caps lock n and then we are going to break so we are going to exit this one the loop and else we are going to number dot append in brackets we are going to write x okay before that we need to do a step x equals to int x this is because we need to check whether it is divisible by 2 or not to check whether it is divisible okay so we have completed taking input so for your reference let me show you what it is going to do no let's do the whole thing okay and then maybe we'll do it print you entered x i don't think this is required but yeah let's do it uh, as per shown let's come down and then yeah for i in numbers so it is going to take each value of i in numbers okay if i percentage 2 equals to equals to 0 so you are checking if it is divisible by 2 pvn count plus equals to 1 okay here yeah, it is the correct spelling itself okay else so we don't need to check there's an upset formula for all ones so we are going to like declare it as odd if it is not divisible by 2 okay else odd count equals no plus equals 1 okay so this is completed so let's just take this i mean we need to print of EVN numbers it will be from a even count let me just give a space here and then print of odd numbers they gave a space out odd count okay sorry i forgot to give a comma yeah so let us just test this out run 
Okay, let me just pull it up. Enter the number. Or okay, let's give it as 33, 32, 52, 52, 110. Again, rather it's for like 35 and then 8 and then 10. Okay, and then n. Okay, the 5 and 3 part numbers. So, yeah, it is working. Then yeah, let me just check it once. 1, 2, 3. Okay, it is 3 odd numbers and even 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, so the second one is also working. So, sec second task successfully completed. Okay, let's go back and check the third task. Okay, most of the questions are like um, the same or the same type up to n term. So you need to write the same type of code but differently. Okay, yeah, I think we already did some in the what do you say the average one. So yeah, these are the questions left. Okay, so yeah, let's I just check the second one also. Okay. Okay, understood. Fourth one I got it. Like we need to print alternative one. Okay. Yep. Okay, so yeah, let's do this. Let's go back to the Python page and first let's do the sum part. Maybe I'll use a previous code to save, ta save time because I don't know how much time it has been. Okay. So, yeah, let me create a new file, new Python file. Put it as task 3 and then let's go. Let's go to the first, first one. Take it. Take this while code. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I, maybe I'll write some equals to zero. Like it deals fast. True. True. It is like X. Okay, so we have committed it into integer. Let's let's add it. Sum plus equals to x and then x and then let's come out. Print x print sum equals to sum. Some okay, yeah, let's give a space and then yeah, let's run this one. Give it this close. 
three, five. The number make a magic. No, no, no. So there is some mistake, I guess. Number will be input, okay. And then yeah, product and count I can remove it. If I rerun it H it should be the error, yes. Okay, if I get three Okay, I don't know what was the error before. Okay, let me just check. Yeah. X. Okay. Okay, let's give it as a instead of X, let's give it as number. Okay, I found it. I found the other. Yeah. It is still going to be the same, but it is because in we cannot give an R between them. Yeah. In your so yeah, I found the error. Now, how I need to change because I changed it to the most most of them. Up, it is going to work. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then and and then yep you get the output this 30 yep awesome okay so let's go to the next one um item file task four yes let's go task four okay i'll put it them in order let me just go check okay Mm -hmm. Okay, found it. How we need to do this is we need to make a list. We need to take the list input from the user until then list. He gives an input of n, and then we need to like make a list of even numbers. So, okay. Yep, I just copy this one. It was task two, right? We're making a list. No, till here I'll just copy it because we need to save time. List. Yeah. And we wrote them right, yeah. Number that happened. So we are done with making the list. So we need to check. Yeah. Okay, I got it. So yeah, it is going to check how many how many numbers. I'm sorry, what did I click? Let's click. Forgot. 
the players just come back up. Okay, yeah, the best way is to close it and open it. It is the best way to remove it for now. And enter. If I it is going to be plus no correct itself. If if I percent h two first equals to zero, then we are going to print list no and number i i guess so this should work what is it this it is the square bracket itself okay yeah Okay, before that, we'll do one step. I think I just thought of it and I forgot. Yeah, okay, found it. Print the Okay, we are just going to do this and then here we are going to after print we are going to come comma and equals to yep and sorry and then we are going to come back and print let's go I don't know I if this is going to work this is just one of my thought I think it will work and the number of one, two, three It doesn't matter and okay it's a uh, issue with this one okay with an issue hmm let me just check the question once again uh, it is the step okay yeah let me just check the question once again. Give me a moment. Hmm. Yeah, I don't mind if there is any background noises because I'm sitting in a room. But still, if I get any. I'm just thinking like how to do that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe we need to like just um, maybe we need to add a count variable. Let me just try it in this way. Okay, let's just add as a count. Count equals to zero. Okay. Yep. So what we are going to do like if the count is even, then probably we'll do it. I don't know whether I'm sharing. I'm just reaching. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So now we'll do go back here. Okay, this is going to be I. Okay, but um, it is not going to be range, it is I number. 
and uh, so count plus equals to one and yeah maybe we'll give this as minus one because we need to even count zero in that minus one yep yeah. okay let's go and if count percentage zero equals count plus equals to one okay maybe let's try this again okay and 45 okay sorry we need to give a comma yeah maybe now it will work space here and here so that I don't think that is required. We'll do this. Yep, now let's do it. I'm just entering random numbers like keyboard, spam keyboard. And then enter. So, yeah, it has printed the alternative numbers. I thought of printing them in one line. Yep, yeah, I'll just do that. And yeah, I just that is a command actually. Space, comma, space. Yep, that is going to work. Yep, let's go to the next task. As I think you saw it. Hmm. Find the sum of all items in dictionary. Okay, it is going to the values and okay. I don't know whether it is going to be given by the user. Okay, let's make it by the user. New. I'm sorry. It is going to be for Python, right? new python file task uh, file yep let's do it okay no let's give it as dead no i'm just not getting a name now we make words to yeah and this to ask um yeah x equals to let me tell you why number of key okay let's yes let me tell you it is like number of key value right key input How many key value pairs do you have? Here it is going to count for I am range number of key. E equals to IMP T equals to input or key value input equals to int input value integers only I don't know like we can make that one but that will be a time taking one yeah first let's make this one and then i'll convert it into that one also this key, i found which key it was okay so we have made the dictionary now 
but I no let let's try and use comprehension maybe. Let me just read the question once again. It needs to present the sum. Okay. So we'll enter sum equals to zero. I'm sorry for the sum if you're able to hear that. This is Yeah, now it's one. What we need to do is we need to do sum for I dot value or wait. Okay, sorry, it was not right. Items sum equals to. We need to do this. Okay, sum e plus a equals to i. No, j. Because j is going to be the value and i is going to be the item. Well, let's just put it as choose. Um, okay, maybe we can just use this. I yeah for simply the process. Yep. Okay. Print sum is uh, sum. Yep, yes, run this one, run. So let me give three values for now A equals to 100, B equals to 200, and C equals to 300. Okay, wait. Do this. No. Um, plus yeah, that is this is not right. The first one is only right because I didn't oh. dot. Yeah, items. I'm putting items because um, the items it gives it checks all the values and inputs, so all the I mean keys and values so keys are going to be saved in i and values are going to be saved in j for each so like i'm going to add only the j because j is the value let's just feed on it so say the same three a 100 b 200 c 300 let's go My eye. Let's just go with it. Let's just see what is happening actually. 3 B 100 3 2 C 4 Wait, why is this happening? Hmm. 
दूसरे से कहें समथिंग Let me try giving. Yeah, let's just try this one. Yeah, I just ch- uh, changed. I just started this one. Okay. If I comma value, okay, because I think so because it is clashing with other one. Now it should be. I'm sorry. Sum plus equals to value. Let's just rerun it. Three, eight, two, three, B, C, C, whatever. Okay. Print the sum of is sum i don't exactly know i think i'm i'm like uh, taking some extra time but yeah okay 3 okay why is this happening Let's go with the next one, and then I'll come back. Okay, let's. What is the next one? Sorry, I think you are not able to. Are you? Okay. Print all numbers from zero to ten except two, four, eight. Hmm. Okay. Share is a file. Okay, wait. I need to open that, right? Okay, now. Okay, you're able to see, right? Hmm. Let's come back to this one. I just took reference from one of my Python code. Mine. Hmm. 
we are going to do this we are going to make a okay for i a range 0 comma 11 because for loop cancels 1 we are going to do if i equals to 2 I'm so sorry, it is going to be 2 or i equals to it is 2, 4, 8. If you're able to see some glitches, I'm so sorry, I think it is some obvious issue. It is 2, 2, 4, and 8. Two or four over i equals to i equals to eight continue else print i yes very good okay Yeah, seven one is a little bit hard, but I'm just thinking. Let me show you that file. Coding challenge. Okay. Hmm. Like I know this with numbers, but I don't know it with um. Yeah, alphabets. Okay, coming back to this one. The one which I was not getting. Yeah, let so that is a little bit hard, I don't know. Yeah, I think I excluded all the time. Okay, it has been 40 minutes, I think. Just this do one and let's stop here. We have done six. Yeah, I'll summon this one. Let's try. Okay, it is not that, it is actually numb in this one. I worked with this one, but I don't know why this is not working, so I'm just, just checking my reference files. Yeah, I think you saw the output also. Hmm. 3A B C Why is this happening? Okay, maybe it is because that Two for loops with sim i and string b maybe print Okay, I have made a huge mistake. I didn't, the num is completely empty. I didn't add anything into it. I didn't add anything into it. Yeah, I found the error. It will be num and key input. I was wondering, like, why? So just I defined the code and then I found it. Value. Input. 
Yeah, the code was always right. I didn't store them in the like we have been taking the input, but we haven't stored it in the dictionary file. So that is the reason why it is not coming. And yeah, now it is it should perfectly work. Three A equals to one hundred. B equals to 200, C equals to 300. It is always the right. Yeah, understood it. Yeah, sum plus equals to B. Okay, yeah, I completed it. So thank you, and I will be submitting this file. Yeah, I'll be staying. I'll be recording where I submit also. Show an explorer. Okay, so enrollment good. I would not like to show some information like complete name and few details. Yeah, I'll I'll just enter a few details of mine in the form. It needs to check whether I'm from the school or not. Yeah, I'm from grade nine. I'm just giving it. Yeah, I'll just show you guys. Window coming to. Okay, you're able to see. I'm just going to give the video link, and I'm going to give screenshots also. The video link I'll be uploading this one in YouTube and then later. I'm sorry. Yeah. One, give me a moment. I don't know why this is happening, but. Yeah. How do you rate self? Like. Before the post, I was like four, I was like five itself, but I'll keep this. Yeah, um, yeah, like before also, I knew most of them, but like I got clarified. Have you improved in Python? Yes, like these are the class. These are the class, like how was the class or not? Okay, yeah, maybe I'll fill it off screen. Okay, bye everyone. So I'll be back with a new video, but don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Bye.